All right, say we want to do a story problem where um, dealing more with, like, say, irrigation and this arm is moving around here and it's irrigating. Maybe after three hours it stops and I kind of want to know how much area of that land it is irrigating. And so if you're just kind of a think about it person, you're not a formula person, you'd be like, okay, well, that's a percent of area. But notice this time this is in radians, so that would be pi over 8 out of, again, the total then would be that instead of 360 because I'm in radians, but it's still a percent of pi. Now radius is 200 squared, all right? And so um, if you just want to, you know, type it in your calculator, you can get an answer, and I think it's, um, so if you take this, all of this multiply, and then divide by 2 pi, I believe I got this. And it would be square feet because we're doing area. Now, if we want it simplified, um, like a nice pretty answer, which sometimes in trig we like, then first we have to kind of deal with this a little bit. Um, pi over 8 divided by 2 pi, you can stick a 1 under there um, to multiply fractions. You multiply by the reciprocal. All right, so that would cancel. So that's 1 over 16. So that part is 1 16. And then let's see, times pi, and then that would be, what, a four with four zeros, All right? So that's, what, 40,000, so 200 times 200. All right, and so then, um, let's see, 16 goes in there how many times? So let's take 40,000. Um, I could just divide by four twice, I guess. That might be good mental math for me. So that would be, what, 10,000. And then four goes in there once, and that would be, what, 2,500? Okay, I guess I don't need a calculator for that right there. All right, so that would just be, what, 2,500 pi would be the exact answer, square feet. And if you want to check, just grab a calculator quick and take 2,500 times pi and make sure it equals that decimal, which it does. So, again, sometimes we want approximate answers. And a lot of times mathematicians like that nice equal sign because then it's perfect. Um, if you're a formula person, that is okay, all right? You can always use the formula, right? Which is, if you're a formula person, it's theta times r squared over 2. gives you the area of a sector. This time it's nice because I gave you radians. And the radius is still 200. And this is still 2. Um, so this again is pi over 8 times 40,000, and then all of that is divided by 2. So the 8 goes in the 40,000. Let's see, what is that? Go in there 5,000 times. All right, and then the 2 would go into the 5,000, 2,500 times, and I would still get 2,500 pi square feet. All right, if I want an exact answer, and then again, if I want a decimal approximation, I could just do that on my calculator and see what that gives me.